Today I am nominating Kristen Crowley to serve as the chief of this fire department and the first woman to ever be in that position. I mean, I understand, you know, the significance, the historical significance of what this means. A first is a first, right? And and so I understand that. But the amount of media and even the outpour of support, um, I knew I had support, but wow, I, I am so pleasantly surprised. It was really neat. I got to do an interview just recently with a local station in Green Bay because of, you know, me becoming the fire chief. And it was really neat to connect. Like growing up where I grew up, going to an all girls high school, going to an all girls college, and then coming out here and then ending up, you know, in a male dominated type of career, right? Even like kind of coming up through the ranks within the organization, each and every step really prepared me. And I look back on it, it's like, I, I did that for a reason and pushed hard for a reason. and had a lot of people behind me, you know, kind of assisting. But I really honestly feel that everything has led me from my life uh, to this moment. I certainly won't be the, the last female fire chief, but I think holistically all of us just want to be known as, you know, firefighter Crowley or, or, you know, versus, oh, there's a female firefighter. Yeah, I think that's optimally where we want to be because we want to be judged on our qualities and our merit, right? The gender really doesn't have much to do with it. It's what, you're, what we're all bringing to the table. There's a lot of interest in it, which I think is really amazing, but I think it's also important to get that message out there, especially we're hiring, right? The window of opportunity to hire is here and now. I mean, candidates can file all the way up to June 15th, but after that, the window closes and then they have to wait another two years. So I'm really trying to plug that for the right reasons and get the LEFD way beyond, you know, our city or county or state borders. And that's where the message can be really strong. And that's how we can leverage, you know, the inquiries across what media is asking of me, then I can get our message out. What has worked really well for me throughout my career is the ability to connect with people. So my goal is not to just create this space where as a fire chief, this is what we're gonna do. I think it's really important that we build what and who we are as an organization built off of the boots on the ground. It feels really good. It feels like we've had a really good transition. A lot of the times when a fire chief is going out, you don't have that luxury of really having a succession plan. It usually doesn't work that way. And I think, you know, people are asking me time and now, are you ready, are you ready? And I say, you know, are we ready? I think we're ready. And they go, yeah, chief, we're ready.